Hello everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I wanted to go over the three main reasons a rat's fur can start to turn brown, other than molting of course. So the three reasons we're going to be going over in this video are rusting, porphyrin staining, and finally buck grease. So the first one I want to start out with is rusting. So rusting is when you have a blue or black or dark colored rat who starts to develop spots of brown on their fur. Now you can see in the picture on screen this was originally a completely black rat who has developed a lot of rusting on their sides. This is a really extreme case. Usually you just see little bits and pieces like you're going to see in a picture of my blackberry who just has a little bit of rusting on her shoulders and on her back. So rusting can be caused by three different reasons. The first is going to be genetics. So if your rat is predisposed to rusting or if they are just a poor version of their color. Now in terms of pet rats, this doesn't mean anything bad. It just means your rat's fur is going to turn a different color. However, if you were trying to breed for show rats, this could be considered a fault. So another thing rusting can be caused by is diet. So if your rat is lacking copper in their diet, they can start to rust earlier. I haven't personally tried supplementing copper to stop rusting. However, I have talked to people who have done so before with their rats and apparently they have seen the rusting stop or even in some cases reverse. So it's worth trying if you think your rat's rusting might be dietary caused. So the third thing that can cause rusting is age. You're going to find that most older rats of the blue, black, and darker colors are going to tend to be rusting at some place on their body. You might just see little spots like you see on my blackberry, but you can also see the extremes, which would be the first picture I showed you where the black rat is almost a hooded because of how much the rust has come down on either side. In any case, rusting is not harmful to your rat. It's just a change in their fur color. So you really don't need to worry and it's just a kind of cool thing to see. I mean, you get to see your rat changing into a different coat color. So the next thing we're going to talk about is porphyrin staining. Now, if you don't already know this, porphyrin is the red rat mucus that rats secrete from their hedarian gland located behind the eye. This is why porphyrin will be secreted from the eye and it can also drain down to the nose where it will also be secreted. And when your rat grooms themselves, they're going to get the porphyrin on their wrists. And then when they groom the rest of their body, they're going to get the porphyrin from their wrist onto their fur. And this is what we call porphyrin staining. So if you have a rat with some light fur, you're usually going to see some tints of red as they age. Now, now in most cases this is not a big issue because porphyrin is going to be secreted by rats no matter if they're healthy or sick. However, if you're seeing more porphyrin staining or just porphyrin in general than usual, you'll definitely want to watch your rat because it can be a sign of illness, especially since if you're seeing more of it, that means your rat's probably not grooming as much, which can be a sign of some illness or, you know, like I said, it can just be a sign of older age. So the third thing I want to talk about is called buck grease, and this is only going to be seen in males. Buck grease is basically the orange grease produced by male rats, and it coats their skin. However, since it's related to the amount of testosterone the rat is producing, you're not going to see very much buck grease in younger males. You're going to see the most around the time when they reach adulthood, which is around six months. And then from then on, you might see more or less depending on how the rat grooms themselves and their fur type. Now, buck crease is completely harmless and it's normal to see some on your male rats. That being said, if you have an older male who doesn't groom as much as he used to, you might see the buck grease start to build up until you can actually start to see it staining on their fur. Now, if your male has a pale or white coat, and if they are a thinner coated variety, like a Rex, for example, then you're probably going to see the buck grease more easily just because it's much easier to see on a lighter surface like a white rat. And it's also easier to see if your rat has thin fur because like I said, it builds up on the skin. Now, too much buck grease can also be related to diet and a lack of omega-3 oils in their diet is supposedly known to cause an increase in buck grease. So you can see about adding that to their diet. I haven't had males personally, so I can't really speak from experience experience there, but if you have more experience in that area, feel free to comment it down below. So that's really all I have for you today and I hope it was helpful. If you would like more rat care and rat trick training tips, feel free to visit my website at www.rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye!